Okay, this doesn't have a job number yet, but it's called the Parmac Business Park. This is an asphalt quote for Circo Properties. Um, working with a guy named Brian. He's been with the company for two months. So trying to build a relationship with this guy. Help him out. Hopefully he helps me out. I'm giving two prices on this. The base bid is going to be down at the end of this dry aisle. It's a really long dry aisle that goes down to that building with the blue stripe. So I'm going to go in reverse order and talk to you about the bid, the bid option. So bid option. Start from out here at the sidewalk, straight across, doing an asphalt overlay all the way down. This little piece right here we can leave. Um, as a matter of fact, I take that back. Reverse that. We're just going to cut right where the existing cut is before you get into city limits there. And asphalt overlay all the way down the end of this uh, drive aisle. This is a bit option because the asphalt is holding up strength wise. There's no dips in it, but there's cracking everywhere. So I'm given a bit option to do the whole thing. Uh, the owner of the property plus Circo Properties, they aren't quite sure what they want to do. They just want to make sure that they're making the best decision with this drive aisle. So, bid option to replace all this asphalt, which I'll have the, uh, the area marked off on a uh, <clears throat> aerial map. There's uh, three major speed bumps in here. These are more like speed tables. These speed tables are, let's see here. Speed tables are 14 by 14 by 21. Uh, so figure that times three. Uh, the lift on those, it's about three inches. Three inches on that, these speed tables. And on each speed table, there is uh, chevrons so there's two four six chevrons in this bid option you've got catch basins and some covers some lids uh, total catch basins and lids there is eight going down this stretch so you're going from curb to curb on the overlay and as you get down here you're gonna go uh, where the asphalt color changes where they've done seal coating. So we're just doing a drive aisle going right down on both sides of the road. Okay, so this is the bid option. Now, the base bid. Base bid's gonna start right here at this speed table, which is just before this building number six and this other building that's on the other side of it. You'll see uh, as uh, a location there, some dumpsters here speed bump that might show up on an aerial map but starting at this speed table this would be the base bid to repair the drive aisle from here all the way down um, and it's actually instead of going all the way to the outside here you're gonna see this huge patch that's done down the road by uh, Puget Power you're gonna cut along their existing seam and go all the way down the road so you're going to be to the right to the right of this existing patch here you're going to cut over and back head all the way down where these cars are driving that is the scope of work on the base bid in this base bid you've got uh just one one speed table so the base bid will have one speed table in it which i gave you a 14 foot by 21 foot um, this area right here because we'd be saving this we might have to cut this out and then redo that whole speed table but then continue down the seam there and across so this base bid gonna come down to the right of this existing patch and then you're gonna stop right here we see this line going across over to the rock wall you can kind of see a definite line there from either crack filling or uh, 
putting tar in the seam. Okay. You do not need to do this area. It'd be everything to the left and going up the hill to that speed table for the base bid. All right, so probably figure three inches standard. And I think that's it. Cash bases are in good shape. Thank you.